graphing a linear inequality in the plane, vertical or horizontal line. So we're going to graph the inequality in the coordinate plane. And the inequality that they give us is y is less than or equal to negative 6. Okay, now since I only have one variable in this inequality, just a y, okay, I know that this is going to be either a vertical or horizontal line. If I have two variables, x and y, in my inequality, it would be slanted, okay? But one or the other, just x or just y, I'm going to be graphing a vertical or horizontal line in the coordinate plane. So the associated or corresponding equation would be y equals negative 6. That's going to be the boundary line to my inequality. So since I only have a y, I know I'm only going to have a y-intercept. Or in other words, my line is only going to cross the y-axis. So my line is going to cross right there at negative 6. y equals negative 6 is a horizontal line okay, crossing the y-axis at negative 6. So now, before I draw my line, I just need to decide if I'm going to put in a solid or a dashed line. And to decide if I do solid or dashed, I look at the inequality symbol right here. Since this is less than or equal to, I'm going to draw in a dashed line. We use dashed lines when we have an inequality with the equal to below it. Okay, so line up my ruler here, and I'm going to draw in a solid line. Okay, now I need to decide if I'm going to shade above this line in the coordinate plane or below the line in the coordinate plane. Again, you come back to the inequality. Okay, when you have y less than or equal to and then whatever is over there on the right side, I always read this as Okay, wherever I have the y, I think to myself, shade. Then I look at the inequality. Since this is uh, less than or equal to, I think to myself, below. If it was greater than or greater than or equal to, I would think to myself, above. Okay, so where I see y, I think shade. Since this is less than, I think below. And the negative 6 represents my line, my boundary line. So whatever is over here on the right-hand side of my inequality, I just think to myself, the line, okay? So shade below the line. So that means I'm going to add my shading down here below the line. 